Hi, I'm Edith Brady, director of the High Point Museum, here with my fifth grade daughter, Madeline. And welcome to our newest episode of Are You Smarter Than a High Point Fifth Grader? Today, we're going to focus on High Point High Schools. Everybody at home, we're doing three questions like always, so play along. As you know, today, when seniors graduate from high school, they are in the 12th grade, but that was not always the case. So question number one is, what year was the 12th grade added to high schools in North Carolina? Was it A, 1932, B, 1942, or C, 1952? B. B, 1942? You are exactly right. Up until that point, everybody finished high school at 11th grade. All right, let's see if you can continue your role. Question number two, which class was the last to graduate from the all-black William Penn High School? Was it A, the class of 1955, B, the class of 1968, or C, the class of 1971? B. B, 1968. You're doing awesome. This is great. It was 1968 was the last year. And then William Penn High School closed at that point. Uh, and it didn't reopen as a high school until much more recently uh, when it got, became part of the, uh, the Arts Magnet School here in High Point as the Penn Griffin School for the Arts. Great job. Well, let's see if you can continue on and get number three. Which high school in High Point has graduated the most Olympians? Is it A, Andrews High School? B, High Point Central High School, or C, Southwest Guilford High School? E. B, High Point Central High School? You did it again. That is exactly right. <laughs> I didn't even know. I just guessed the, the main high school. Who, well, who is, do you, and you know who one of those Olympians is. Who's one of them? Heather. Yeah, Heather Richardson Bergsma. That's correct. She was actually, she's also our first um, Olympic medalist from High Point. But there was another Olympian from High Point High School, Harry Williamson, who was a runner, and he ran in the 1936 Olympics on the team of Jesse Owens, which is pretty cool. There is one of the other high schools on there that also produced an Olympian, and that was Southwest Guilford High School, but they only produced one. Um, but it was Eddie Pope, who was a soccer player in the 1996 Olympics. So we have, our high schools have graduated some pretty cool, awesome people here in High Point. All right, great job. I'm very impressed. Well, one of the most significant and important souvenirs that most people have from their senior year of high school or college is your yearbook. And in our collection, we have a few of those online. So I'm going to show you how to find those high school um, and high point yearbooks. When you come to our website at highpointmuseum.org, hover over online learning, then come right over to Heritage Research Center. And then you're going to scroll down here to People and Families. Then down on this page, you'll see the section on yearbooks. So click on Digital NC, and that will take you to their yearbook session, sections. Click here, and then just type in the name of the high school. And it will pull those up. And you'll click on that one and it will show you the years that are available. Choose one and click on it. And it will come right up like this and you can click page by page or you can go over here and skip down um, to different pages as well and just flip right through them. So to all the graduating seniors out there whose senior year did not end exactly the way you planned, and maybe you didn't get to participate in all the traditional festivities that come with this important milestone. Always remember that you will have a unique story that won't be shared by any other graduating class. And no matter what, you should be very proud of all that you've accomplished to get to this point. You did it. So to the class of 2020, we say, Congratulations! Congratulations.